अरे ये तो बहुत भारी है हाँ यार भारी तो बहुत है बट आज ना हम लोग उस चीज को साइड में रखते हैं थोड़ी देर एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट थिंग्स डेट वर्क फॉर द टी आर के फाइव जीरो टू So let's talk about things that work for this bike. The first positive for this bike I feel is the way it looks. आप इस बाइक को देखोगे आपको लगेगा ही नहीं है साढ़े पाँच लाख रुपए ऑन रोड वाली बाइक है फाइव एंड हाफ लाख रुपीज ऑन रोड फॉर दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ लुक्स इज समथिंग दैट यू विल नॉट गेट इन द मार्केट एनी वेयर यू कैन कंपेयर इट टू द बाइक्स डेट आर लाइक वन वन एंड हाफ लैक्स चीपर देन दिस और मे बी कंपेयर इट टू बाइक्स विच आर लाइक टू थ्री लैक्स एक्सपेंसिव देन दिस बट ओवरऑल Within this range of say about थ्री and a half lakhs to एट एट and a half lakhs, ऐसी looks वाली bike शायद ही कोई मिलेगी So this is a bike that will give you that genuine big bike feel, adventure tourer feel. बाकी सारी bikes जो आप consider करते हो in my opinion, like an ADB 390, like an Interceptor 650, they kind of say that you can tour on those bikes, but I feel it's a compromise. ADB 390 is a good tourer, I know there are a lot of fans of ADB 390. But it's a compromise. ADB 390 is a good tourer, I know there are a lot of fans of ADB 390. But it's a compromise. ADB 390 is a good tourer, I know there are a lot of fans of of that bike who are watching this video but when you talk about adventure touring when you talk about spending 13 hours 14 hours on the saddle on a daily basis day after day then you want something which is comfortable look at the seats here on offer these are big beefy seats with a lot of cushioning you look at the wind protection that comes as stock on this bike and along with that uh, you get this aerodynamic shape which is missing in most bikes in the segment You need all those creature comforts when you are out touring, day in and day out. लोग interceptor 650 फिफ्टी को मॉडिफाई करवाते हैं विंड स्क्रीन लगवाते हैं बहुत सारी चीज़ें करवाते हैं बट आई फील दैट्स अ काइंड ऑफ एन अरेंजमेंट विच इज डिटर्मेंड बाय द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी डेट यू वॉन्ट टू स्पेंड अगर आपके पास थोड़ा सा और पैसा है देन यू कैन डेफिनेटली कंसिडर दिस बाइक फॉर द लुक्स डेट इट हैज एंड द पर्पज बिल्ड नेचर ऑफ दिस बाइक द सेकेंड पॉइंट डेट आई फील वर्क रियली वेल in favor of this TRK 502 from Benelli is the protection that comes as stock on this machine uh i have owned a lot of adventure tourers in the past i owned a benelli 600 gt sometime back i had a kawasaki versus 650 and then i have a tiger 800 right now but one thing that i think you all would agree is whenever you buy an adventure tourer you want to have all the protection in place to ensure whenever that bike falls when you're doing off road or any sort of adventurous stuff kuch kharab na ho kuch toote na to wo sari protection ke liye we easily kind of end up spending easily around 30000 rupees 40000 rupees but is bike mein ye sari cheeze already company fitted aati hain for example you look at these knuckle guards which are kind of a replica of what bagbuster offers you have this aluminum spine here and you have these wind protectors which are actually required when you are touring on the road and when this bike would eventually tip over when you are doing any sort of water crossing or off roading then these knuckle guards and this aluminum spine would protect your clutch levers and the brake lever and ye kitna important hai agar aap touring karte ho to aapko pata hoga so agar aap market mein lene jate ho bagbusters ka pura setup around 12 13000 rupees ka aata hai so aapko wo lagane ki zarurat nahi so 12 13000 rupees saved here then next up is this crash guard engine crash guard which would protect your fairing and the engine in case there is a fall ye bhi agar aap kahin se lene jao agar aap achhi brand ka loge to 15 20000 ka aata hai agar aap normal brand ka loge to bhi ye around 10000 ka aayega uske baad agar aap dekho yahan pe engine casing protection hai जो बेनेली ने यहाँ पे दी है ये भी आराम से पाँच छः हज़ार रुपये की चीज़ है मेरी टाइगर 800 के लिए ये पाँच छः हज़ार की आती है एंड आई एम प्रिटी श्योर इसी रेंज में आती है अगर आप इस सेगमेंट की कोई भी बाइक देखो तो ये भी बेनेली ने ऑलरेडी लगा के दिया है वेन यू टॉक अबाउट लगेज ऑप्शन तो यू आर गेटिंग अ पैनियर रैक एज स्टैंडर्ड जिस पर आपके बेनेली के पैनियर्स लग सकते हैं अगर आप वो मनी नहीं स्पेंड करना चाहते तो देन यू कैन यूज़ योर नॉर्मल सैडल बैग्स put them on the seat and this will protect your saddle bags from banging into the tire when you are riding the motorcycle so ye wala setup bhi easily around se 15 se 20000 rupaye ka aata hai agar aap local jaoge tab bhi 8 9000 rupaye ka kharcha hai and lastly you get this uh, plate to mount the top box touring karne ke liye obviously you need all that luggage 
uh, but here on this bike you are getting this uh, top box mounting plate as stock so if i do the math here we are easily getting stuff uh, worth 60 to 65000 rupees in my opinion if you are going for something branded on your bike and you would not have to spend that money so five and a half lakh rupees on road with all this stuff on the bike i think this is something that you should definitely consider when you are making a decision about the bike that you need the third point is very obvious whenever we talk about benelli ek cheez sabke dimag mein aati hai wo hai exhaust note benelli kya karta hai pata nahi apni air intake ko kaise design karta hai ki twin cylinder bikes mein bhi you are getting an exhaust note which is like a inline four bike so i rode a benelli for the first time say after 2 3 years yesterday and i was surprised with the type of exhaust note that it has ek bar sunte hain kaisa hai exhaust note तो ये जो एग्जॉस्ट नोट है दिस डजेंट लुक लाइक अ ट्विन एट ऑल इफ यू कंपेयर इट टू वॉट द कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफर्स वर्सेज सिक्स फिफ्टी का एग्जॉस्ट नोट फ्रेंकली मुझे ऐसा लगता था जैसे रेफ्रिजरेटर की आवाज़ है वी स्टॉम सिक्स फिफ्टी का एग्जॉस्ट नोट एवरेज सा है एंड इंटरसेप्टर सिक्स फिफ्टी थोड़ी सी डिफरेंट टाइप की बाइक है तो उसका ऐसा एग्जॉस्ट नोट एक्सपेक्ट ही नहीं कर सकते एंड ए डी वी थ्री नाइन्टी की तो मैं बात ही नहीं करूँगा क्योंकि के टी एम का जो एग्जॉस्ट नोट होता है वो बहुत ही रिडिकुलस होता है इन माई ओन ओपिनियन सो इन दिस सेगमेंट वट एवर चॉइस इज यू आर कंसिडरिंग दिस इज द बाइक डेट विल गिव यू द मोस्ट ऑसम एग्जॉस्ट नोट बट आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट exhaust note is not the only thing that you would kind of consider if you are making a decision about the bike so let's talk about something more as well from a riding standpoint i would say this bike is pretty decent yesterday i was riding this bike in traffic in bumper to bumper traffic and it was managing to crawl at 20 25 kmph even on the fourth gear are yaar jaan de bhai tu phas raha hai to mujhe kya phasa raha hai chalo isi bahane I will be able to understand what sort of heat dissipation this engine has. कहीं ऐसा तो नहीं है कि traffic में बहुत परेशान कर रहा है क्योंकि last जो Benelli's में issues होता था वो heat dissipation का काफ़ी ज़्यादा होता था previous generation की मुझे अच्छी तरह याद है 600 हंड्रेड जी टी जब मैं चलाता था तो ऐसा लगता था भाई साहब ये तो फट ही जाएगी गर्मी में फिलहाल मौसम अच्छा है आ, वो भी एक बहुत बड़ा फैक्टर है बट ओवरऑल ऐसा कोई बहुत ज़्यादा हीट डिसिपेशन हो नहीं रहा और इफ़ यू आर इन टू टोरिंग यू वुड अंडरस्टैंड द वैल्यू ऑफ लीनियर पार डिलीवरी दिस इज समथिंग दैट वुड बी मच बेटर ऑन ट्विन सिलेंडर बाइक्स एनी डे एज कम्पेयर टू सिंगल सिलेंडर बाइक्स द टी आर के फाइव जीरो टू इन माई ओपिनियन इज वेरी गुड फॉर पीपल हु आर गेटिंग इन टू अ बिग बाइक फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम समथिंग लाइक दिस विच इज ह्यूज द लास्ट थिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट इज द बाइक टू ओवरवेलम यू विद द पार दैट इट प्रोड्यूसिस दिस इज नॉट द बिगेस्ट कैपेसिटी बाइक दैट यू विल एवर बाय but i think this is a great stepping stone because of the forgiving clutch which is easier to handle and that is what this bike would offer you so finally i would want to talk about the seat comfort that the trk 502 platform offers the seats on this motorcycle are very comfortable that is my initial impression and they seem to be much more softer than other bikes that i have ridden so far on the tiger i still feel those springs in the seat but on the trk it feels like a very comfortable couch and that is just about the front seat when you talk about the rear seat here it seems like it is a uh, even more comfortable sofa and lying down on the bike right now feels like a very natural position and for the pillion as well i think this is going to be very comfortable bike uh for your better half as well to sit for long days coupled with a top box at the back this is going to provide all the back support and the support on the butt of the pillion to remain on the saddle for the full day apart from the seats i feel the overall fit and finish of benelli has improved a lot in the last 3 4 years as i told you i had a benelli sometime in 2017 and sold it off in like 6 7 months but now when i look at this bike there has been a significant change in the build quality they have put in a lot of attention to detail that is quite evident from the way these buttons are designed here uh they exude a lot of quality and if i compare it to what i have seen in maybe something like a kawasaki or a suzuki 
this might be a little better than those brands. So guys, let us now talk about uh, the negatives of the TRK502. This is the favorite topic of all the media houses, of all the reviewers I have seen so far. Everybody tends to bash the 502 as a very heavy bike with less power. Uh, I kind of agree to that to some extent because this is definitely a very heavy bike. 235 kgs for a bike like this, which is just putting out almost 46 bhp of power so the power to weight ratio is not working in favor of this bike but then i see the price segment at which this bike comes and the positives that i just talked about i feel it's not such a bad deal it is something that is worth considering but if you are just fretting about the fact that its weight is zyada hai isme power kam hai you need to think about how much you can ride the bike in touring. Yesterday I was riding this bike on an open stretch of road and it reached 137 km per hour very easily and it was very comfortable. So we'll do a 0 to 100 kmph test of the TRK502. Let's see how many seconds it takes uh, to get to the triple digit speeds and I'll try to push it as hard as I can. Let's go. 3, 2, 1. Go. So we reached 100 in the third gear, and here we go on the sixth gear and try to just rev it out. And we hit 137. Ek second mein touch ho gaya tha. tarike se. And it needs power to be used practically. If you look at the bike, you will see that 137 hit. You will see that I will hit 110, but 110, 115, but 137. So I think that is adequate power. Adequate. Depending on the type of riding you want to do, if you want that sudden punch of power coming through when you release the clutch, when you start off the bike, this is not going to give that. But on the highway at cruising speeds, you're not going to feel that weight too much. One place where you're going to feel the weight is backing this motorcycle up. If I need to back this up, it's going to take a lot of effort. But honestly speaking, for any ADV, backing a bike up definitely takes a lot of leg strength. And it is the same case with all the bikes in the adventure segment. So I don't think this bike needs to be bashed just because of the weight that it carries. There are a lot more positives that I talked about before that need to be considered to look at the complete picture. One more negative of the bike, if I have to nitpick things, is the YB characteristic of this engine. Uh, of course, I'm coming after riding the Triumph Tiger 800, which I have for like almost two, two and a half years. That is a butter smooth engine. But on this bike, I felt as soon as I put my leg over it yesterday, when I took it out of the showroom, that even at low speeds, there are vibrations and when I had clocked 100, 110, 120 kmph, uh, there were some mild vibrations in the handlebar and in the handle grip as well. Also, I could feel some vibrations near the tank where my knees were resting, but uh, not something which would kind of degrade your riding experience. But if you are coming from a bike which does not have any vibes, that might worry you a little bit. And the last negative point for this bike, in my opinion, is the backlight color of this digital display. It is blood red and I don't know why Benelli has decided to go for a blood red color as the backlit light of the digital display. Sounds very strange to me, seems very strange to me and this is something that I didn't like at least from a readability standpoint while riding in the night. So that's it guys, uh, the purpose of this video was to kind of show you the positives of the TRK502 as well because from what I have seen so far, everybody in their reviews is kind of bashing this bike, saying the same old thing, heavy air, 235 kgs, so I thought I'll showcase some positives as well because this is one bike that sits right between the Interceptor 650 and the Duke 390 at one end and on the other end, the V-Storm 650 and the Kawasaki Versus 650. If you found this video useful, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the 23 Rides channel and stay connected. 
I'll see you in the next one. See you.